Sean um, came to us, God, more than three years ago. And he, he came, huh? You mind if I get you? No problem. And he, and he came to us, uh, wanted to have a studio for a month, wanted to try it out. Mm -hmm. And he's been here more than three years with us. I think we're going on four. Um, he, you know, he likes the Impressionist paintings and he does this for himself and uh, he's able to sell some pieces. That's his grandmother there and his wife. So, so he, it, it is personal for him and uh, he works uh, doing images for uh, companies that put together gaming designs and gaming ideas. So he works on games, basically. Uh, he's, he's incredible. He, his, yeah, very beautiful his, his skill level is really incredible. He's a great teacher. That's how I met him. So, uh, you know, so he's here. Uh, and then this is me. And, uh, and your name, sir? Ignacio Fon. They call me Iggy. And I just, I've been painting since probably 1980 or so, or a little bit before that. And um, this is what I do. So Jeannie and I have this space. We also have, in the back, we have a little area for coffee and stuff like that. Bathroom. We're, we're fixing the DC. I got some on my own. Sorry. It's okay. It's just how it works. And then this is the office where Jeannie works. She's the one who manages the space mm -hmm. for us. So. Yeah, and that's mine, that's mine, those are mine. The one above the door is mine too. So. Beautiful pieces. Um, and, um, the is, and that's the first studio you saw as you came in. Here on the right hand side of the oh, yeah. And she does these awesome blush, collage kind of objects. She is working on a special program uh, a project that she's doing is called 15 Generations. And that's where you see that collagraph in the center with the flower and everything. That collagraph comes from that project she's working on called 15 Generations. She's been working on it since the beginning of COVID. Uh, it wasn't meant to be a COVID program, but it became that when that happened. And she'll gather uh, someone, she's done I think 16 interviews, so she'll gather someone and they will pick objects that she has set up for them and organize them and then she'll photograph them and this is what the photograph looks like this is uh the, the person picked there's two boxes full of stuff that are on one side and they pick the items and they place them on the box so you can tell there's north east west and south so that the person can kind of decide where they want to place the objects. And then she photographs it, creates a photograph, and then she creates a holograph as a result of it. So the col the holograph comes from the photograph. Wow. You know, so she makes a piece, Jeannie makes a piece, the person on Zoom makes a piece about their generation, seven generations before them, seven generations after them. Yeah. And then the, the center one, the 15th. So she asked them to think about what they feel is their generations that came before and what they feel it comes after. Some people don't know. Yeah. Some people know. Yeah. But they kind of figure it out. It's in our DNA, from what I understand. So yeah, it's so, very it's very deep. I've never heard something like that before. So, yeah. So she's doing a great job with that. And she's dying to get back to her regular work, but you know uh, that yeah. seems to be. And then we have we're starting hoping to start a new program here mm -hmm. and uh, we could pretty much kind of rent out the space for a month we always have somebody okay but uh, our program what we're gonna try to start is a program for we hit kind of what I think would be a middle ground our, our spaces rent for four hundred and twenty five dollars so we're in a middle ground, but there's people who can't afford that yeah. or can't come in all the time, 24-7. Yeah. So they they need something, a step down. Yeah. So we're trying to create kind of a subscription process where the person would pay, you know, 50 to to $100. We haven't figured it out yet. Yeah, smart. And then they would have so many visits that they could come here. And yeah. we were going to set up probably slots at four hours each. Very smart. So that you have, you know, we we can open from, you know, nine to one and one to five or something like that, and then 
the persons can come in and kind of use the space during that time. And all it would cost them is a subscription. They have to bring their materials or stuff and they get to work. Yeah. So it's a little bit, a, a, a lower kind of economical situation, but probably something that very useful. It's necessary. Yeah. So I'll show you next door because we have this space and we also have the space next door. Okay. Um, and you can come by. And these are, we have a wish gate so people write their wishes and put them on. And then we have about a little bit more than a year ago or so, or about a year or so. Hey, Sean, how are you? Um, is it okay for Sean? Yeah, of course. So about a year ago, we we got this space. A friend of ours was leaving this space, and they said, "Hey, do you guys want to take over?" And we kind of said, "Yeah, let's do this." And uh, so we have actually one. We have four artists currently in here, and there's somebody new moving into that space. Uh, Kim is moving in there. Sean is here. Um, this is Elle, and she works with. Um, different materials and fashion design and, and she also paints so um, you know she's been here probably four months so her studio looks a little bit more lived in than Sean Sean just started Sean you've been with us what a month well like three months now three months I think so yeah. are you serious yeah <laughs> my, my, my God. Upstairs. Okay. He bangs metal, so this is metal, so if you kind of get up close, you can see that the work is three dimensional. So, uh, wow. Yeah. It's very, very different from what I'm used to. Yeah. And then Alec uh, is here. Uh, and we come through. I'm keeping the recording a little, so Yeah, so. And this is Alec. And, oh, hi. And you mind having your face recorded? Or? Oh, oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, yeah, that's, that's, fine. Fine. that's why I move so low, yeah. I don't <laughs> so want to put you, you on. If you want to tell him something about what you're doing, but he's been here. You've been here, what? Uh, a year. A year now? Yeah. And like um, he wanted this space back here. This is kind of what we had. And then he was working in it. And then we offered him one of the spaces up further to the front and he said no he loves it back here it's comfortable it's easy yeah he's got privacy to work on and i'm rearranging right now i, well, I was going to ask you what happened to the big piece oh it's, it's here so yeah. you're you want to roll, you rolled it up okay roll it out. You want to wow That's wow the... wow What do you call it? It's the the raft of the Sabinas yeah. uh, by David, but uh, I I'm trying to kind of like do it so, to do something different. This is kind of like the beginning of it, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, this time it didn't work the way I I, I wanted it to be. But uh, I'm gonna keep it as uh, like the first try, and then. But because I, my final goal is to deconstruct, uh, this is a classic painting made by a classic uh, artist, David, from 18, uh, uh, 1800s. Mm -hmm. And uh, my idea is to deconstruct uh, those, uh, yeah. those paintings. So, so he's, he's working from a, an original image, but he's turning it into his own. Okay. So in doing that, it requires sometimes a start and then you find a, a place where you feel comfortable and then it begins to speak through through the paint. So yeah. so it's a really an incredible... The original artwork is right there, made by David. And he's the founder of the neoclassicism in painting, uh, French painter. Wow, beautiful. Uh, and this is what I'm working on. What I want to get to. Sort of. It looks amazing. 
Trust me, I I wish I could even start to be as good as as as, as you as that. Just having that vision to create it almost almost identical, but not at all. Actually, it's very different uh, different approach to it. And you I know? can show you. One. So this one I consider like a fail. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not what I wanted to do, but, but, uh, but you're not getting rid of it. No, no, no. no. It's a first. Uh, it's a starting point. It's a first step. I wouldn't say fail. I would say first step. Yeah. I'll say first step. You know, you know now what you did that uh, you don't want to do again. Exactly. Exactly. And well, when you're a kid, you take that first step and you fall. You know what you don't want to do again. Yeah. You just fall. So exactly. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful work. Beautiful work. Nice to meet you. But, nice but to you, meet you. You gotta keep going. You know. You gotta yeah. keep going. Yeah. Don't give up. Definitely so not. This is. Um, you saw his work, yes. uh, and I, we won't have we won't be able to go too far in, yes, because he's working on something. But this is uh, Yoshi's work. This is where he bangs away at the metal. Wow. Yeah, this is. I hadn't seen this piece, so. No, I might. It's nice. It is. Wow. Yeah. So. He's this got is some wings on the side. He's, but he um, comes in just about every weekday, eight to six, eight to four, depending on how he feels. Really incredible. Definitely. You okay? Yeah. You might help. Yeah. This is a very beautiful space. Very beautiful space. And that's what's interesting about the art world. It's like when you have space like that, like this, like mm -hmm. where people can come well, and you, you know, we we started and when we started it, it was meant just for diaspora vibe cultural arts incubator and us. Yeah. And then when they moved, we figured, well, what do we really want to do? And creating a space where other people can be creative about their lives and whatever they make, you know, became really important. And then that's why we're trying this new thing too, because we want to reach even uh, a broader uh, need, which is uh, we we had some teacher friends come by and they said, oh, well, we wish we could afford this, and, but then if we paid for it, we wouldn't be here all the time because we have our kids and school. Yeah. And, uh, so that's what we're trying to create a program where if you don't have much time, but you still are a creative person, you can come in and do your work and try to, you know, try to at least get it out and, and start yeah. working. Yeah. Which is important. Yeah. I think it's amazing. I think it's amazing what you're doing here. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll do my part. We're, re we're really happy. Yeah. We're really, this has been, uh, you know, our dream is to have a, a huge, huge space. building where we can have at least 20 spaces for artists and run a program where people can come in part time and do some work and, and go and then we also want to have a, a meeting space with a gallery component and uh, residencies where artists can come and have a place where they can stay for a month or so and work on their work so well, that's kind of our idea I don't know if we'll ever see that but we, we are pushing that way so. I can tell you right now I have faith that it will happen. No, me too. Because I, I, I know good people when I see good people, and especially when it comes to um, giving an artist a chance, I, I will always support that, and I'm gonna do my best to keep supporting that. And I think you guys will go far. I think your dream will definitely happen, and I will do my part to try to make it happen. Also. Mouth to God's ear, baby, because I got to tell you. <laughs> keep, keep faith alive, for sure. Yeah. And, and you have to reach out to Rosie. You, you really I know. need to, yeah.